Hi, my name is Kalinda Rushte and I'm going to have a look at submixes in Ardor 3. Okay, so the idea of submixes is that you can stick loads of tracks together into um, one bus essentially, an auxiliary track. And then you can control, say, the volume, or you can maybe add effects that should be applied to that group of tracks in one place. So it's handy for organizing um, your mix. So if you want, like typically you might have maybe a group of back, uh, backing signers, and you might want to control, say, the, the volume of all of them in one go, or maybe the whole section of the band, the brass section, or a part of an orchestra, something like that. So in Ardor 3 to open the mixer window, you just go to the mixer here. Okay, and that's what it looks like. So here we have three tracks already set up and that's just set up normally. You've got a drum track with a virtual instrument, piano and a recording of a guitar. And this is the master bus over here on the right. So let's just listen to that. Okay, so it's not a great example for using a submix, but let's just pretend that we'll say we want to control the piano and the guitar. We can want to control the fader for the two of those tracks in one place. So to add a new track, you right click and you can choose either an audio track, a MIDI track, audio and MIDI track, or a bus. Um, this is actually the exact same from the standard timeline view in the in DAW Ardor. You can right click there and you get the same options and any track you add there will also appear in the mixer. So let's just go back to the mixer. Okay, so we'll add a bus. Um, I'll just say piano and guitar because I can't think of a sensible reason to put those two together. It's just to, to show. So let's make it a stereo track. I have them panned a bit differently to the left and to the right. So I'll keep it in stereo. Okay, and add that. Okay, so we have the new auxiliary track now, but we have to route the audio into it. So the way you do that is you open up the uh, matrix. So here we have the drum output and here under the Ardor buses and their destinations we have the options of plugging that into the master input or the piano and guitar input so that's where we want to go we want to take it out of the master and instead we plug it into our new auxiliary track okay oh i did that with the drum let's not do that because we said we were going to do the piano and guitar so so let's go back okay here we go piano out goes to piano and guitar in and the same for guitar there we go now so let's have a listen to that so here we can control the level of the piano and guitar. And I guess you could also use that to, if you wanted to add an effect, um, you could, for example, add an equalizer. So let's say for some reason you wanted to apply uh, to add some air to the to those two tracks and you wanted it to sound consistent for both of them. I guess you could also use a send um, that would do the same thing, but this also works. So we're going to activate the high shelf and just listen to it. <laughs> Bye -bye. 
is it there? Okay, that's basically it. So thanks for watching. Cheers.